Hello, it's good to see you today. I thought that today we might try something a little bit different. Did you know that going outside in nature is really good for our well-being? It can help our body and our minds to feel calmer. One thing I absolutely love doing in nature is planting things. I just love planting a little seed and watching it grow and sometimes it grows into something totally delicious. So I thought today we might try planting something together out of things that you probably have at home. How about that? All you're going to need is a toilet roll, I've chopped this one in half, or an egg box with the little compartments, a tomato and some compost or soil. Now if you don't have a garden this bit might be a bit tricky. I wonder if you could ask a friendly neighbour or someone that lives close by if you could pop into their garden and have a little bit of their soil. You don't need very much. And once you've got those things it couldn't be easier to plant a tomato seed. You chop your tomato in half or get a grown-up to do it and inside you will see lots of tiny yellow seeds that you just squidge out onto a plate. I have squidged mine onto a piece of kitchen roll and that's just so all the juices get absorbed by the kitchen roll and the seeds dry out quicker. You will need to leave your seeds overnight to dry out before you can plant them. Once they are dry though, take your toilet roll, halves or your egg box, fill them up to the top with soil or compost and then take two seeds for each one and plant each seed a little bit apart. You don't want them on top of each other or they won't grow properly so make sure there's a gap in between. Pop them on a sunny window ledge, even better if there's a radiator underneath because little seedlings really like the warmth and then put a little bit of water in, not too much. Your plants don't like to be sopping wet and you can watch them grow. If you've got brothers and sisters or other grown-ups in your house who want to do this too, you might want to decorate your toilet rolls or your egg cups just to make sure that people know whose is whose. And when your seeds start to sprout, little seedlings, little green leaves, you need to wait until there are four leaves on each tomato plant and put them into a pot that's a bit bigger so that the roots have got lots of room to grow and you're going to need a little bit more soil at that point. I would absolutely love to see pictures of your little seedlings growing so do send them to me. I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope you have a go and by the summer you'll have lots of delicious tomatoes to eat and to share with your family and hopefully your friends. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.